and welcome back to the channel. Okay, we've mocked up a very, very basic scoreboard here. Uh, it can be used for any sport with two teams, soccer, rugby, football. Very simply, it's a piece of plywood, sprayed black, and then we've attached the four digits onto the plywood. Uh, each corner of the digits, there are little, they're, they're very small holes. You can't, you can't see them because they're being covered with a little, with a little black cap, so it hides the screw head. Um, the board itself, we've left it quite basic, but for example, we could add on home, away, a logo, whatever you like. Okay. The size of it at the moment is one meter across and 50 centimeters high. We think it's a little bit too uh, small. I think another 10 centimeters on the on on the height would be um, better, so we get larger letters up here for the home and away. Also, we're not that happy with the plywood itself. It's very heavy, and how weatherproof it's going to be, we don't know. Well, I don't think it will be that good. So we've done a bit of research, and. We're going to try and source a product called Composite Aluminium Honeycomb, or Composite Honeycomb Aluminium, sorry, which is basically two sheets of aluminium with a honeycomb centre. It's extremely light and it's extremely strong. It's actually stronger than the plywood. So we're going to source that and we're going to mock up another scoreboard using that. Okay. Um, we also did the same with uh, yellow digits and with green digits so if you look in the links below you'll see you'll be able to see the same board with the different colored digits on it okay um you all know how how these work from previous videos quite simply flip them over to change the number and off we go um, at the moment, not much else to say. As I say, I'll put some links below so you can see the different colours and I'll also put some information about the sizes and the types of materials that, that we have used and that we want to use in, in the future. And that will also help you if you want to build your own scoreboard, you'll have a list of things that you need. I'll even put in the, the depth of the screws. We actually have a 10 millimeter thickness here so I can actually give you the size of the screws as well. Okay, well I think that's it for now, not much else to say, so thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll be back soon.